Hey fish tank people, the Rick here, bringing you another video. Now today's video is a beginner's guide on how to breed Corbensis cichlids. Now what you're looking at here is my 10 gallon nursery tank that currently houses about 50 to 60 Corbensis fry. They are eating great and growing real fast. Now when you want to breed Corbensis what you need first of course is a male and a female they're actually pretty easy to tell apart the male the male's body is longer and his top fin there's a point at the end now with the female she's much rounder she has a bigger belly uh, with a pinkish to, to purple color to her belly So you shouldn't have too much of a problem telling the two apart. Now I would recommend you have them in their own tank. Maybe a 10 to a 20 gallon tank that you know just for themselves. Because when they are, when they are spawning they can get territorial, they can get a very aggressive, they're very protective of their young. So it can make hell for your other fish in there. So if you want to breed them, just give them their own tank. Now what you're going to need is either a cave or what I used was this piece of driftwood that could hide under so they can lay their eggs. So you can get maybe some kind of decoration that could that could work with a hole inside so they can come in and out. Um, now they are easy to breed so you shouldn't worry about that one of the more easier fish to breed uh, don't worry about compatibility because if you have a male and female they will mate it's as easy as that now once they do mate um, the and lay their eggs it takes maybe four five six days the eggs will hatch and the parents will take care of the rest um, usually Maybe the first batch not so well, second, third batch they do a much better job but you never know they, they might do a great job on the first batch. Now I separated them I didn't know they had eggs under the driftwood so I decided to keep put them in their own tank and take care of them myself but honestly you can just leave them with them and if there's no, no other fish around I mean they're gonna do a great job they're gonna raise all the fry they're gonna move the fries all over the place so they can feed and yeah they are great parents now these these fish are very hardy they're cheap and they're beautiful so I would recommend this fish to anyone it's one of my favorite fish and I had these guys for years very easy to breed they will constantly keep breeding and they do change partners if something happens to let's say the male the female will find another male <laughs> I've seen it happen it that's just the way it is so these guys they eat a lot the fry you can feed them you know first bites that's what I'm feeding them also repeshi crushed up flakes when they get a little bit bigger but yeah these guys are hardy and beautiful fish so definitely check them out so hopefully this video helped you a little bit and good luck thanks for watching